hey guys what's up welcome back thanks for joining me for another video so in this video i want to talk to you guys about the ColourPop cream gel eyeliner collection i bought this and it's taken about two weeks to get to me here in the uk it's got a mix of metallic shimmers and also matte colors in and i bought these mainly for my instagram to just put some more textures and some more beautiful colors into the detail work that i do and my looks over there but i thought it would be good to swatch them all for you guys here on screen and give you guys like an insight into what the formula is like because these have been part of the ColourPop's main collection for the longest time but I think they had a few problems with the product drying out and um, so they've reformulated them and bought out a red color so I bought them all and it'll be really good for you guys to become informed on what the product is like and then I think they're actually on sale at the moment so you can head over after this video and buy a few if you want to as well um, but yeah on a side note ignore my nails if you didn't watch my last video I did say that I got acrylic nails I've taken them off because I'm back to work and um, they kind of destroyed my nails so I've had to cut them really short and stubby and they just look bad <laughs> anyways uh, head over to Instagram and make sure you follow me over there and also hit that subscribe button if you're not already because I love reviewing new makeup colorful makeup just makeup in general and skincare in general so yeah I'd love to have you here and we can chat and become friends of course um, so yeah let's get into the video so first of all quick note on the packaging it comes in like this cardboard packaging and mine is like really like battered and like if I pull too far on one side it's gonna fall out that side and if I pull too far on the other it's gonna fall out the other so um it's a bit flimsy but I think I'll probably keep mine all in here just so they're in one specific place because I don't want to lose all of them and be like damn where's that white eyeliner gone um but yeah 15 shades in here mix of mattes and also shimmers in here so let's take a look at each color individually and i can tell you about them color pop is claiming these to be a long wearing formula and also a formula that is non-drying and vibrant which of course with a colorful range like this you hope where the hell is that hair on my chin get off um you hope that they're vibrant colorful collections so let me pull out each color one by one explain to you what color pops say they are and then after we've done the whole range i'll do some swatches so first up we have the shade kicker and this is described as a bright true silver then we have the shade dirty talk and this is described as a soft metallic gold Then we have the shade Get Paid and this is a metallic rose gold. And then we have the shade Overboard and this is described as a warm metallic bronze. Then we have the shade Exit and this is described as a true bright white. Next we have the shade Prance and this is described as a bright periwinkle blue. Then we have the shade Zulu and this is described as a vivid pastel seafoam green. Then we have the shade Crybaby and this is described as a cool toned pastel lavender. Then we have the shade Boots and this is a hot pink. And then we have the shade Punch and this is a brilliant canary yellow. And we have the shade Swerve, this is a true onyx black. And we have the shade Teaspoon and this is described as an intense emerald green. Then we have the shade Venus, this is the new one and this is described as a vibrant red. Second to last is the colour Puppy and this is described as a vibrant warm orange. And lastly we have the shade Piggy Bank and this is described as a vivid red violet. 
So there's all the colours for you guys. I don't know how well the camera was picking up the texture of the um, eyeliners but some of them looked like they had a wetter formula than others and when I did just quickly swatch them a couple of days ago it did feel that way some of the colors looked like they had a drier formula I don't know if there's something wrong with their production or that's how just how some colors are harder to formulate in bright colors but there was a bit of inconsistency and there does look like some inconsistency with the formulation with some of the colors um, but anyways I'm gonna swatch every single color three times round in a different way so I'm going to do a finger swatch, I'm going to do an eyeliner brush swatch and I'm also going to add some Duraline to a bit of colour for every single eyeliner as well. Duraline is basically something that you add to pigments or glitters or shadows and it makes them a lot more liquidy so you can apply them in a more fluid way. If so, if for example, if you wanted to get like dense glitter pots and apply it as an eyeliner, you add a bit of Duraline and it sort of allows it to become a bit more fluid so the glitter doesn't run away from you basically so yeah and maybe that will help some of the drier formulas here but let's get into it i think i'm going to start with the color kicker and then we'll go forward from there
Okay, you guys, so there are the colors all swatched. You see the finger swatch, a brush swatch, and also a jewel line swatch. There were a couple of standout colors, in a bad way, standout colors. Firstly, this black. Colourpop black is supposed to be your standard colour like most people nowadays will buy a black and sometimes a white and just if they like the formula of those they'll go ahead and buy other bright colours this black was quite dry you've seen it yourselves I've applied it today on my lid as a winged eyeliner and I find it dry just as a winged eyeliner usually I use the Maybelline gel eyeliner that is beautifully smooth well pigmented of everything that you want from a gel eyeliner this is pigmented but it's dry and you see for yourselves until I put the jewel line onto it then did it become more fluid and a little bit easier to work with but other than that this black was a bit of a disappointment and a bit hard to get on my eyes but I think I'm just going to use it with the jewel line and just accept it for what it is but yeah black should be a standard 100% working colour but this time around I don't think that worked for Colourpop anyways the other three colours that stood out to me as being a bit more difficult not unbuyable but just a bit more difficult that you might just want to keep in mind if you're going to purchase any was Prance which is this blue color I actually have that in my waterline today and I did wear this to work a 12 hour shift the other day this is similar to the black it's a bit more of a drier formula and um as I wore it through the night it just got a bit dry on the eyes it wasn't crumbling or cracking or anything I just noticed it just got drier on the eyes so I think definitely the blue and the black just put something oil based down or even like your fixing spray you could spray on your brush just to make it a bit more wet and help the formulation of those two and then the lilac and the orange also I found that were just imagine less pigmented than I wanted I don't actually know how these two colors build up but I can always update you guys once I start playing with them properly on how they build up and if they're good at layering on each other but yeah um, I just like would have liked these two to be a bit more pigmented than what they were but I can forgive them because they're sort of pastel colors and they're quite hard to get to show up as true to pigment as what you want them to which is why you don't see that many pastel eyeshadows out on the market because they're quite tough to formulate um a side note um i think the packaging could be a bit better um my purple jar has also smashed in um it just got a bit of a crack in i don't know if my camera wants to focus it's just got a bit of a crack in from where it had been shipped and moved about it hasn't affected the product at all in any way but just be careful when your products arrive make sure they're everything that you want them to be because all in all um the colors are like all 15 of them can be pricey i know they're on sale at the moment colourpop is wicked for doing sales they always got things on sale they've always got codes out there so yeah just be careful everything comes as you want them to be especially if you're getting it shipped overseas like i was final thoughts i'm really happy with most of the colors actually um i think some of obviously some of the formulas that we can work on but i think i'm gonna get loads of use out of these and i'm well excited to start doing bright colorful looks over on my instagram so make sure you follow me over there because that's where you can watch me use all this stuff and sort of be like what the fuck is she doing <laughs> but anyway make sure you subscribe to the channel as well because i've got a lot more videos coming up have a great day and i shall see you all in the next one